Hi there, my name is Vadim Michalenka, and in this quick video we're going to look at how you can create flowchart diagram in Microsoft Visio, coming up on online training for everyone. First, let's overview three most important Visio concepts – shapes, stencils, and templates. Visio shapes are objects that you drag onto your drawing page, and this is what you use to build your diagram. Visio stencils is a collection of shapes. Shapes in each stencils have something in common. They follow the similar pattern and similar theme. For example, basic flowchart stencil has process, subprocess, document, decision, start and end, and data shapes. And cross-functional flowchart has swim lane, separator, swim lane vertical, and separator vertical shapes. And templates used to create particular kind of diagrams. When you want to create a diagram, start with the template for that type of diagram, which you can search when you start new Visio diagram. For example, to create a new cross-functional flowchart diagram, navigate to File tab, click on the New, type in Swim Lane, and then select Cross-Functional Flowchart Diagram. Now, let's go ahead and create a simple flowchart diagram. To do that, navigate to the New tab and type Flowchart in the search bar and select Cross-Functional Flowchart Diagram. Next, select the horizontal type of the diagram, because this fits the best to what we're trying to accomplish. Visio created the template with the new swim lanes. Since we are defining the deployment process, we need to identify Agile team members for each swim lane and type their names. You do this by clicking on the swim lane title and typing the role of the team member. Next, you start uh, dragging and dropping shapes from the stencil for basic flowchart diagram into the diagram itself. And then you connect those shapes based on the functions that you're trying to describe. You start with the start shape and then add process shapes and then connect them in the right sequence that would describe what each team member will be doing. For optional steps, you use subprocess And for decision steps, you use decision shape. If you would like to follow along, feel free to download the template for this diagram from www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. Once diagram is complete, you can experiment with the different design options. If you go to Design tab, you have a lot of choices in terms of design themes, variants, and backgrounds. Each theme has its own set of variants. And you can pick any background that you'd like. Because software deployment process is very sequential, you can define different stages for the deployment process. For example, key stages for release process are product increment, which is PI planning, architecture, unit testing, UAT testing, and then product deployment.
And then the last step in the process is to review and make final corrections. Typically, you would want to review diagram yourself and also show it to one of your colleagues to make sure you get feedback and make sure nothing is missed. A lot of times, diagram is just work in progress. And over time, you might make some additions and corrections in the diagram. So I always like versions. I do versions in the file name and I say version 1.1, 1.2, or version 2 for major updates. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.